Did the players at Wimbledon breach royal decorum big time by not bowing or curtsying to Queen Camilla? Let's dig into the official protocol. For more than a century, the royal box at Wimbledon has been reserved for the world's A-list. Anna Wintour, David Beckham, and Jeff Bezos are just a few people who've been able to watch the Wimbledon championships from the best seats in the house, along the baseline of center court. And, of course, when the British royal family or royals from elsewhere in the world want to visit, they'll be in the royal box. A lot of royal fans check out Wimbledon to catch an eyeful of some royal fashion in a more casual setting. Camilla, queen consort, visited Wimbledon on July 12th in a long-sleeve white midi dress with black vertical striped piping, pearl earrings, and stylish round sunglasses. People definitely noticed her outfit, but they also noticed that none of the Wimbledon players bowed or curtsied to her. For those not distracted by her ensemble, it had people wondering, was that okay? Camilla is, after all, married to the king himself. According to the rules, there's no requirement to bow or curtsy, at least not anymore. No curtsy. No curtsy. Camilla officially joined the royal family when she married then Prince Charles in 2005. That was two years after the requirement for Wimbledon players to bow and curtsy to every member of the royal family in the royal box was dropped. The Duke of Kent, cousin of Queen Elizabeth II, was responsible for changing things up. He was president of the All England Lawn Tennis Club in 2003, and the club's chairman at the time explained the update, telling The Guardian, The Duke of Kent feels that during his lifetime, the tradition of bowing and curtsying is pretty much on the way out. To do it very publicly on the center court at Wimbledon doesn't seem right, therefore. Winning players do have the option to bow or curtsy to the royal who gives them their award, but it's not a requirement. In 2021, after 50 years, the Duke of Kent stepped down as president of the club that hosts Wimbledon. Catherine, Princess of Wales, who has been a royal patron of the club since 2016, took over the role of presenting the Wimbledon men's winner with a trophy and the women's winner with a plate in 2022. While bowing to any royal in the royal box at Wimbledon hasn't been a tradition for 20 years, there were still two royals who got a Wimbledon bow after 2003, namely Queen Elizabeth and the now King Charles III. It wasn't a protocol that was often needed, at least when it came to the Queen. Queen Elizabeth wasn't a huge tennis fan, and she only attended Wimbledon four times during her 70-year reign. Her last appearance courtside at Wimbledon was in 2010, and the last time she attended before that was all the way back in 1977. She came in 2010 to see British player Andy Murray compete against Finland's Jarko Nieminen. Murray was the winner, and both players bowed to the Queen three times from the court. With the Queen's death in 2022, it would stand to reason that King Charles would continue to get a bow or curtsy and that potentially William, Prince of Wales, would as well. But as of the making of this video, neither one has made an appearance at the 2023 Wimbledon tournament, so it remains to be seen if the protocol of bowing to the monarch and the heir still holds. There's a chance William could still make an appearance at the finals on July 15th and 16th. We may see how he's greeted as Prince of Wales. He attended in 2022 alongside Catherine, Princess of Wales, and their oldest son, Prince George, who made his first Wimbledon appearance. 